Good morning, y'all. Welcome back to another video, another vlog. This is a pretty exciting vlog because this is my official first week of marathon training. I briefly mentioned in a previous vlog. <gasps> Oh my god! I just got signed up to do a marathon. Okay, you know what? This is fine. This is fine. Oh my god. For the past two months, I've been running a ton more, adding mileage to my weekly routine. And that is because I had this thought in my mind that I will be doing a marathon at some point. I wasn't for sure when, but it wasn't until a month ago that my boyfriend and I officially signed up to do one in January of 2024. This week officially marks week one out of 16. So we're officially four months away from the race. I don't know how the heck it's already October since I recently played in that big volleyball tournament, which if you haven't seen that vlog, go check it out because it was such a fun time. My gears are switching though from volleyball to running. Yeah, we're kicking it off. I haven't really vlogged the past two days. I literally just got back from a camping trip in Yosemite, so kind of all over the place. I would be lying to you guys if I told you that I had an exact training plan that I'm following. I'm very loosely following the plan, but I need to spend some time and like go and tweak things. But regardless, we are getting our miles in. I'll talk more about the marathon throughout this video, but yeah, that's just kind of an update. I'm gonna be running a marathon in January, 26 miles before my 26th birthday. Hey! That's the goal. I don't usually drink pre-workout before my runs, but I'm just kind of in the mood for it. I'm just like a baby scoop. Baby scoop. Sour cherry pre-workout from Beam. I just got this flavor in this past month and I've been waiting for it. Cherry is literally my favorite flavor, just in general. So I knew this was gonna be good. Ideally, I'd like to run in the morning and then lift after it doesn't have to be immediately after but like somewhat back to back so that i can just wear what i ran in to the gym i'm not sure if that'll happen today might just do a home workout because i have dumbbells here that i can use i'm gonna have to play it by ear day by day. i'm just about ready to get going i'm probably gonna drive to where i'm gonna run and i'm gonna leave my camera at home because i'm just way too paranoid to leave anything in my car so you guys are staying here but i'll vlog on my phone don't worry. Quick fit check. I'm obsessed with this outfit. This pairing right here. These sports bras with the big Gymshark varsity S graphic. I'm obsessed with. The back is so cute too because it's like the skinniest little strap. Brownish reddish straps match the two-in-one shorts. I'm I feel like I need to get photos in this actually before my run. Gone on my spy belt, which is like small personal item. Belt. I have my AirPods and I will use it later to hold my keys. I guess I should just, I don't really need my wallet, phone. And it does a pretty good job of holding it all without jangling around too much. Sometimes I have to tweak it during my run so that it really stays. But if you secure it tight enough, it doesn't really jiggle. So I would highly recommend. I have it linked on my Amazon storefront, which I did make a new sort of folder on there for all my running essentials. Alrighty, we have made it. Arrived at Lake Merced. Just wake up now. Dynamic stretches, whatever feels good in my body. Leg swings, pogo hops, single leg pogo hops, squats, arm swings, just to loosen all the Loosen all the hinges, you know? Literally just sitting in a deep squat feels amazing. Also this pimple patch is from literally last night and it is ready to come off and I'm gonna keep it covered because I don't want all the dusties to get on it. This lake is about a four and a half mile loop so I'll definitely do that. I feel silly. Am I doing this right? Someone let me know. Feels right. It's doing something for me. Get her started, woohoo! I started right about here, here. I'm currently here, just over two miles in. I apologize, I feel like some runs I do a really good job of filming and then some runs I just literally don't wanna take my phone out. Oh, I finished. I made a last minute decision to just do one loop. Oh, you're so bad. This is the reality, you know? I feel like online I see people, they run 10 plus miles and not an ounce of sweat. But guys. It's okay, if you get sweaty and red like me, we're normal, we're human. Four and a half miles, try to do it under 40 minutes because I looked at the clock and I was like, okay, I only have like 0.3 left. So I just pushed to that last. Oh, 
I definitely went into that run thinking I was going to try and do two laps around, but I'm going to save that long run for later this week. Um, wow, I am so sweaty. Oh my gosh. The sweat stash. Holy shiza. I'm going to quickly drive home and I'll talk to you guys when I'm a little less red. <laughs> I am getting my coffee made because I need it. Well, I don't need it, but I want it. Nespresso pot in. Lock. Oh my gosh, that's so hard to do with one hand. Already got my soy milk in there. I'm also gonna do some cereal, but I'm gonna use my protein shake as the milk. Generous scoop of that. All we got is corn biscuits. So we're gonna eat the corn biscuits. These might be stale as hell, but. Oh, not bad. I literally do not even press record in the last five minutes, but I've been eating my cereal. I'm doing my emails, editing. I really should be sitting down and doing some work. <laughs> these are actually fire. Pretty sure that my grandma gets these for free somewhere and she brings them over to our house because why not? I eat them. They're great. Pretty sure I saw this on Instagram recently, but try saying this. Mix biscuits in a biscuit mixer. from an onion like this? Oh my goodness. Stop the music. No copyright. I'm all showered. I am now helping my mom prep dinner. My mom and my dad are coming back from golf. They've been gone all day. And she asked me to peel onions and make rice. So, ta-da. I am now making some banana bread, but I'm changing up the recipe to make it more of a banana pumpkin. Bread. So I'm really excited. This is gonna be trial and error. Loosely following this recipe. If it turns out good, I will share it fully. Elvis. Shh. Shh. But yeah, these are gonna be the main changes. We've got organic pumpkin. I think is this pumpkin pear? And then a bit of pumpkin pie spice. Both from Trader Joe's. Actually, this can I bought last fall, and I lost it in the pantry, and then I found it again. So we're gonna be using it this year. It's still good until September of next year. have a fire fire dessert tonight after dinner. This is actually my first time doing this, but I door dashed Hometown Creamery, which is one of my favorite ice cream spots in San Francisco. Scoop of this with my banana bread, which should be done soon, actually. <gasps> Holy, look at that. Good afternoon, y'all. Oh my gosh, I just finished a leg day. And I also, I was also in the process of filming a little Instagram slash TikTok that I'm doing with Sony. What? Pretty cool collaboration. If you guys didn't know, I recently got the Sony ZV-1 Mark II. This is the vlog camera. I actually purchased the first version earlier this year and I was gifted their newest model, which is this one right here. I have on a new mic too. So let me know if you can tell a difference in the sound quality. I love this thing. And so being able to partner with them and then also have it be based around something that I'm passionate about, which is working out, honestly, so ideal. 
So I just wrapped up that. I'm now gonna head home. Oh, I'm a sweaty, sweaty mess right now, but I'll check in with you guys when I get home. So freaking hungry. My mom just texted that she made lunch and she tried making something new, so I'm very, very excited to try it out. Do you wanna explain what it is? What the heck? Hamburger meat. This is a tortilla. Yeah, Crispy. tortilla. <laughs> Saute all the grilled onions. Grilled onion, and then I made a special sauce. For Ooh, talk about a post leg day workout, or not workout, meal. Literally what? Animal fry style, holy. Mm. Oh. Mmm. <laughs> All right, well, I've been working on some editing and also digesting. That meal was amazing. I'm going to squeeze in a couple Easy miles, chase the sunset. It's coming down as we speak, so I might make it. I think I have like 20 minutes or so. Like three-ish miles would be good. Let's get this done so I can come home, shower, lay in bed, and do some more work because I do have some stuff to catch up on before the weekend. <sighs> These shoes kind of hurt my feet. It's only been a mile, but... Oh, painful and miss the sunset. It's actually kind of late. It's almost nine o'clock. I need to eat a quick little something. So I'm gonna have a big kale salad here. This is the salad kit from Costco. Yeah, I just I feel like I need some greens because after that smash burger situation, I mean it was delicious, but greens I need. And I also didn't vlog this, but what? Sir, for my leg day today, I had the pumpkin bread and more ice cream for breakfast, basically. It was good leg day fuel though, I will say. I'm gonna finish this. Have this cosmic crisp apple. This thing is massive. Chug on some water. Prepping the easiest meal ever, but it's so freaking good. This is called ya, boiled or steamed, basically Vietnamese ham. Cut it into little sticks like this. I'm pretty sure they also use this in bun mi sandwiches. One lime. This fish sauce is super salty, very, very salty. Might not be everyone's cup of tea, but it goes so well. A squeeze of lemon. Putting a squeeze of lemon helps sort of dilute it a little bit. So good. Literally just one quarter is all you need. So here's my little plate. Ham, eggs over rice, my fish sauce, and then I also steamed some veggies, which also tastes super good when you dip it in the sauce. almost 6 p.m. now. My lower body is very, very sore, so no run today. I also just want to avoid the whole gym crowd at this hour, so I'm probably going to do something at home. Yoga, maybe a little bit of core, stretching, that's sort of vibe. I think I need that, especially going into the weekend because I do want to do a long run at some point. Also, I've been wanting to wear this set from Gymshark. This is from the Elevate Collection, and I feel like it's just a little much to wear to the gym. Basically, just a tiny bralette, so I only really feel comfortable wearing it at home. The fabric is so smooth it feels so good and i really like this dark pink almost red color i've traded a swimsuit tan line for a sports bra tan line this summer with all the running outside <laughs>
call a solid Peloton stack. Did a 30 minute upper body strength, followed by 30 minute 90s Pilates, which actually kind of killed me. The core was feeling it for sure. And then I finished with 20 minutes of yoga. I should really do that more. Like I should really spend more time on my mat, do the little home workouts, especially with all the running. Low impact workouts could be a good active recovery for me.